Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, today is a good day. As you can see, we have a couple packages here um, sitting on the desk. And we'll have a couple other things from Amazon and eBay I just you know, thought I'd share with you. Um, we have a couple packages here. We have a small one here from my buddy Jeff Moss. Now I did a, just did a small trade with him um, on a slag padlock for um, a core or a LFIC here that I got from uh, my buddy Bill Bacardi and um, yeah we did a small trade I traded them off an uh, LFIC so there's a padlock in here and I believe there's a another challenge lock in here and we have a awesome package well I know it's going to be an awesome package because I pretty much know what's in this package from my good buddy Truckmaster30 um, he's got a few goodies in here um, just thought I'd share those with you too and I always do but um yeah so we're gonna get into that and well I have a couple of things from you know Amazon and eBay now I do collect American locks so this is actually my first um, it's an American that box is um, 7200 a7200 I'm not sure exactly how these numbers on these boxes work because there's a few times where I get the locks and this here's a seven uh, series 7260 and this is going to be my first um, tubular lock American lock in my collection. This uh, has a re rekeyable core. Um, and it's got a. Oh, try to get, there we go. It's got a nice little snap to it. It's got a pretty good size shackle. It's a pretty heavy lock. So, this, uh, this I'll end up picking this eventually on uh, one of my videos and we'll retire that into the collection. But yeah, I got me one of those in. Um, that was from Amazon, actually. I think I paid like um, 18 bucks for it or something. But uh, we have a little Master 44D here. Um, it's like a little luggage lock or something here. It says for mailboxes, cages, oil tank caps. I don't know what that is. Um, but uh, duffel bags, well covers, foot lockers, luggage meters, fishing tackle boxes, etc. Um, it's a cool little lock. It's a new old stock. Um, and you can see it's a, quite a bit smaller than this uh, 65 here. Or, si excuse me, 66. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a nice, cool little find. That was from um, eBay. I can't remember exactly what I, I got that for. Um, we have a master lock here. I know, everybody said that's a master lock. I'm not even sure if this is the right package for it, but this is what it came in. This is a, um, a brass, if you could see that on the um, lock itself, it's a uh, military, US, uh, US military um, brass. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool lock, nice, nice long shackle, and it works good. But um, yeah, that was, um, I think I, went, I paid five bucks for this, I think. Um, came with the chain and everything. So that was a couple of things I got from eBay and um, Amazon. I wanted to share them with you. All right, let's check out um, what my buddy Jeff sent us. This here, like I said, has a padlock that we traded. Probably should have changed that blade today. Yeah, let me move this for a second here. Try to pull this a little bit into frame. All right, we are going to have a um, challenge lock here from Texas Jim. Here's the slag padlock, um, and here, let's check this out. Here is the LFIC that my buddy Bill Picardi gave me. Here's the control key. nice I still need the um, the actuator um, to actually be able to uh, pick the lock open or excuse me to get the lock to work um, I think I might have one around if not my buddy Bill of course said let him know and he'll get me one so that's pretty awesome now I have a uh, I'll have a full working lock here pretty sweet and that has a slag Everest that's an Everest uh, LFIC. Pretty awesome. And let's check out this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 
challenge lock here from Texas Jim. That's the bidding on it. And another hand filed key. But it does work very smooth. Back might be a little bit tight, but nice. Texas Jim locks they are always fun to get into. All right, let's see what my buddy Chuckmaster30 sent us because there's some goodies in here. Chuckmaster always sends me some goodies. Yeah, I don't want to cut myself. This blade is getting dull. It needs a changing. Yes, sir. He always packages very well. And this here is another. Oh, feels like. Oh, and that is. Um, I believe that's going to be my purple heart wood for. He said there's enough there for like four picks. We'll check that out in a minute. That's pretty awesome, though. All right, we got a double bag. We got a bag in a bag. In a bag. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, sweet. We have a, um, a lever lock. I believe, yeah. Nice, and actually I have a... Uh, I have the two-in-one, and um, this I might actually actually be able to use it to to uh, pick for the first time because it's it's pretty good size. It does doesn't fit the padlocks that I have. But awesome, sweet, thank you. And he did say he was sending me a ton of uh, blanks here, and he did too. Sweet, we got a little bit of everything: slags, um, some master keys in here. Those are for um, boarded locks, but yeah, sweet. Thank you. You can always use uh, key blanks. I love key blanks now. I mean, I have the keyboard. I've got the cutter. I mean, the more blanks, the merrier. Sweet. Let's check out what else we have here. We have. Okay, he said he said he was sending me a couple of cabinet locks. So we got one here to make fun of. Little one, two, three, little four pinner here. But it's got some ups and downs. That's pretty pretty good beating, uh, bidding for a, a little cabinet lock. So that should be pretty interesting. And we got a switch here. That's a bidding on that. So it's got a nice high cut way in the back of all those low cuts. So that should be pretty interesting too. And it's another uh, wafer lock. That's pretty cool though. Awesome. Thank you, sir. And we have here, this is Gantry's number three. I think um, Gantry wanted him to send send this to me, and he did. Oh, oh boy. Hey, he's pulling a Bill Bacardi on me. Nice. Sweet. Okay, we're going to we're gonna have our first um, Gantry with a bidding that has a Mr. Bill Bacardi to it. Awesome. That's that's going to be fun. All right, let's check out um, this wood here. And I don't want to cut this because I reuse these to send picks in myself. So let's see if I can get this tape off. I don't have no fingernails though. All right, we're going to have to cut it. Where's the seam? Right here, I believe. There we go. We're getting it. Yeah, and here's a hybrid DeForest Diamond. He said he was sending me. Now that's a nice pick. It's got that. He, he knows I'm using his picks a lot that have the the swoop to it. I love it. This one here became one of my favorites. And this, um, I believe, is walnut. Awesome. That is a sweet pick. That is nice. I will definitely be using this one. Nice, thank you. That is awesome. And we have some, this is Purple Heart. Already ready made. So I can make some handles for, um, I think he said this Purple Heart. I believe so. Awesome, thank you so much, Truck Master. I will definitely use this for a couple of, I don't know, it's gonna have to be something special because <laughs> like I said, what I use is just popsicle sticks and it works pretty well, but I can't 
get some real wood like he has and be able to shave it down this thin. This is awesome. Ready made. Very nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. That will definitely be used. All right. Um, yeah. I have one more thing I wanted to share with you guys because I have a new addition here that came in yesterday, too, uh, to the lock lab. I finally have myself um, a drill press. I mean, I didn't just get this for, you know, for use up here in the lab. I have a couple other projects that my wife has me um, doing around the house I kind of need this for, too. Um, now I'm shopping for a decent four-way vice for it. Oh, sorry, took it out of frame. I'm um, shopping for a decent four-way vice for it. I'm looking at a couple. Um, I'll get that ordered up this week. And there's a couple things I needed to do up here, too, with that. So that's a new addition I got for the lock lab. And let's bring it back to the desk because I just want it say one more thing before we sign off here um and that is i i, I just want to thank i mean each and every one of my subscribers my fellow pickers i mean you guys are just totally amazing uh, a huge part of why i do what i do um and and you guys have just been just totally awesome and well now today um i looked and i found out i have well over fifty thousand views now i mean that is just totally amazing i mean you guys like I said, are awesome. Um, you're watching my videos, which makes me really happy. Um, and yeah, I reach over. I think today, I think I'm sitting on like 52,000 views. I mean, that is awesome. Um, so I just have to thank each and every one of you guys. I mean, like I said, you guys are amazing. Um, and, and I'm totally blown away to find out that, that one of my videos actually has over 8,000 views. I mean, that that to me is just insane. I just not never thought that would happen, but. Um, yeah, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys. You guys are awesome. And, um, yeah, hope you keep watching my videos. And uh, I'll keep trying to put out some decent videos for you guys. And, yeah, and we'll have fun along the way doing it. So, all right, guys. Um, with that said, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.